How's it going, my friends? We're back with another Cyber Eats video. Let me go ahead and fire this up. We just got an order to a Papa John's right here on University Avenue near uh, Hillcrest and such. So let's see if we can get there. We've got an interesting right turn coming up. It's gonna be kind of a dive into the right and then shifting left. Or at least that light wasn't too bad. A lot of confusing lane markings here for the car and really wide spaces, but it's diving in perfectly. All right, let's double check real quick. We are on assertive beta mode. Likely was still, yes, disabled lane changes. That way, hopefully, less potential for mistake while on the highway. I'll wait for these pedestrians here to the right. Wow, we're kind of diving in there. A little unnecessarily aggressive. There you go, you got it, you got it. So this is a two-fold test, you know, again, like the first video, we got to get to the food and then we got to get to the customer. So it's not a success unless we can do both. And it's a Sunday and right after Pride. So there's still a lot of people out and about. This won't be easy at all. This particular intersection is kind of a nightmare anyway. It's so wide that people will kind of jump the gun. And then, of course, pedestrians will just start crossing the street. We got lucky on that pass, though. Right. <laughs> a little rough around the edges this morning. So far so good. A lot of congestion around this four-way. Hopefully we'll be able to fit more than one delivery into the video. I'm gonna try to be conscious of time and where you know things can be kind of zipped forward. Here we go, this is interesting people crossing these guys are like halfway in the street here I want to see if we can nudge okay never mind this Tesla wants to cross so now we'll go there we go very good very good Wow this is backed up at least we're not going that way <laughs> that's a case where I would definitely fast forward all right we're coming up on where the Papa John's is located up here sort of in this plaza area It would be ideal if we actually crossed into the plaza. All right, we're waiting for these folks. You gotta, you gotta cross? No? Jeez, come on, I gave you the chance. Humans. The Tesla AI was like, all right, yep, here's your chance to cross, I'm waiting for you. Oh, you're not gonna go, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be a hell of a day. Okay, now we just need to turn into the right here. There it is. Cool. Even with all that calamity, I'm gonna say that was a success getting to the Papa John's. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this and get back on the road. See if we can actually have a successful Cyber Eats trip. All right, we've got the cargo on hand and now it's time to head over to the customer. This path is gonna take us through the 163 merge where the uh, Friars Challenge has been in the past. If we can get over, this little pickup truck's being annoying. Once we're on the 163, you know, a good chunk of this is gonna be highway. So I will just kind of zip through that. But so far, so good. Could imagine a case where you pull up close to the Papa John's they drop the food in the vehicle and the vehicle carries on. It also depends, I guess, on how complex the parking lot situation is, whether or not it'd be a, a reasonable expectation for the car to even go into the parking lot. I would expect certain restaurants, given their location or the complexity of where they're situated, that they just wouldn't be on an autonomous delivery list. You would want something that's more efficient, you know, a smoother pickup, kind of imagining a consistent flow you know disrupting the flow as little as possible to keep everything moving fast might be a little overly optimistic or uh, utopian in view but it's kind of what I picture all right and now we're gonna attempt 
the 163 merge coming from a different direction we don't have to turn left to dive in we just kind of have to just dive in there we go not too bad be kind of ironic if this is the merge that breaks the trip i mean then again it, it's done this one quite well in the past we are totally clear except for a car kind of racing up behind us we're getting over we need to get over come on come on come on come on awesome cool uh, and technically we got to go through our dreaded friars <laughs> exits up here so this is just like a little bit of the friars challenge baked into this food delivery this is another example where I tell you guys that I have, I, I ride these roads all the time. Like you might not see it or you might, I might miss, you know, hitting the report button while doing a Friars Challenge video, but it's part of my daily interaction. This is a good example of that, a random Uber Eats order. So if we successfully don't jack up this Friars scenario, then we'll go ahead and, uh, Count that as a big win, even if it fails today or fails the rest of the food delivery. So we're coming up on where the roads split to the 8 East, which is the first barrier right here. It's kind of a 50 50 throw up whether or not it's gonna take the wrong exit or maintain its, its course in the straight lane here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it! Ah! <laughs> Thought I had it for a second. We'll go ahead and report that since I was thinking about it. All right, and we have some cars in front of us, so hopefully we don't fly through Hotel Circle too fast. This is the part where we start to, uh... oh yeah, we didn't accelerate, we just kind of maintained. I know, quit your beeping, just do it right. <laughs> there we go. So this is already a failed delivery because it likely, hmm, oh, you know what, idea. I just, uh, I just got an idea, so since this isn't, you know, a person in the car. If you ask me, that makes it a little bit less time sensitive. So with future scenarios like that, where we might take the wrong turn, I'll, I'll probably let it. And let's see if it can reroute and still get the food to the customer. Cause I'm not, you know, like wasting a person's time in the car or, or making them aggravated. I just got someone's food. And I'm sure all of you can relate to your food taking longer than it should with even a human delivery. You know, and I wouldn't let it go into an infinite loop and this customer never gets their food, but I think it'd be fun to, you know, see if a car can reroute. Stay in the proper lane here. Kind of go wide. There we go. There we go. That was good. That was good. Don't get over. See, now that is flat out wrong. We got a right turn coming up, and we just decided to get over to the left. So now what's going to happen? All right, we're trying to get over again. It's taking too long. Getting kind of psyched out. Are you going to correct yourself in time? Oh, you're gonna dive in here. Look at you. Just like a human that screwed up and decides to just say whatever. It's a little little disheartening that it feels a little too human there. <laughs> it corrected though. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Well, I mean, I know that's not true. I do know how I feel about that. That was completely unnecessary. That was an example of the assertive mode or just the beta in general deciding I'm going to go around these cars and then, oh crap, we have to turn right. You need to just come on, come on, push through. Okay, now you got to go left, so fix yourself. Get on the accelerator. What are you doing? What is, what is happening? Thank you. My goodness. <laughs> like this is our left turn right up here so we have a slight variation on the Tesla nav versus 
the actual delivery nav on my phone. So let me just real quickly verify. Oh yeah, we already got another order right after this. Good stuff. Heck yeah. Yeah, we got the proper address. Oh, and this is actually an example where this customer has in the notes to meet them at the door. And yeah, it'd be more like a meet the car at the curb scenario if this was a truly autonomous solution. Unless you had some mini droid or something to finish the delivery, pop out of the car and walk it up to the door. Not impossible. We are just hanging back here. Okay, here we go. We got time after this Prius if they don't take a century. There you go. Come on, get in there. All right. Okay. Over 400 hours in the system and it still keeps me on my toes. We're pretty much here and I just got to figure out where exactly the drop off point is. Um, so yeah. And now we are on to the next order. We are uh, just under two clicks away from an IHOP for the next customer. We're gonna be basically be traversing this entire spot here. Oh, this is interesting. Come to a stop. There we go. Guy just wants to sit there and eyeball me. That's fine. Don't know why. Very nice. Lots of elevation change through here with a lot of cars moving, so I'm impressed with how smooth it's handling it. Usually it was a bit more jolt. Random scooter up here. What the heck? Might be okay. Hey, at least he's listening to the rules. Good on you, man. He actually stopped. our destination, the IHOP, and pulling into that parking lot is not going to be easy, but it's doing it. Oh, <laughs> ow. All right, cool. I will consider that a success having made it to the restaurant. We will reconvene with the trip to the customer. All right, we've got the food. Now it's time to get it to the customer. Let's see. This one's gonna kind of have us through the Pacific Heights area, uh, kind of in the region where the Devil's Crossroads is. Uh, but I don't think we'll actually be messing with that area too much. We're gonna go kind of right past it. I realize my AC was way too high. Uh, we're gonna be going kind of right past it and through downtown up into like the Banker Hill area. Um, another challenging delivery for sure. This should be fun. Why are we stopping? Okay, goodness. <laughs> See, I would intuitively want to, you know, change lanes to go around this guy. Ah, hey! Oh, moments like that make me happy. And then that makes me not happy. <laughs> oh, credit where it's due though. See, come on, get over humans. Let's go, hurry, hurry. Thank you. Oh man. <laughs> oh, and now I'm not happy again. Why are we getting the right lane? We gotta make a left turn. I do think both of these lanes do go left though, so it's not as bad. It's gonna be a merge. It would have been simpler just to stay in that left lane. Man, a lot just happened in the, like the last 30 seconds on a straight road. Um, while slightly later than I would have initially done it, it did what I was about to explain, which is, you know this car is turning right, so let's go around to the left. Don't do this. Do not take that right turn. There you go. We're only, you know, like 
taking up all the space here, preventing people from going around us to take this right yield, which is, you know, pretty much right on par for California etiquette, actually. Anyways, again, really impressed with the vehicle deciding to go around that car. And then understandably, the, the Nissan that pulled out, the 370, it, it spooked the car because it kind of came out sharp and there was a one in the median. So yeah, that deceleration, I really can't fault the car for that. It was being safe. Um, not a comfortable scenario, but still, it was being safe. All right, let's see how we get through this. <laughs> wow. The things that can happen on a straight line. There we go. Okay, now we have a really... Oh, well, nothing. It's a merge. Um, sorry, my brain's just all over because we got all these humans. Okay, don't. That's not a lane. That's not a lane. Stop it. Stop it. You dummy. All right, I don't have to take over, though. That was really sloppy, though, reporting that back. This Kia is literally up my bumper right now. We do not need to be getting over. I, I don't understand. Well, okay, to kind of analyze myself here, this is a two lane exit onto Front Street that it wants us to go on. So we actually are kind of dipping into downtown a little bit because Front Street's a double exit and then it branches to Second and State Street, I believe. Um, or sorry, Front Street. Second and Front Street. And we gotta stay on Second and go through a, a tricky little spot before we go into Bankers Hill. Okay, we didn't abort the exit. It's a really annoying issue with the highway code is there, there are some exits where it'll start to take the exit and then abort um, I know I've seen some of you let me know that it happens to you in the comments even out in Europe um, annoying you know something as simple as just hey take this exit and it freaks out at the last second that's not comfortable because you're you're moving uh, those speeds are not good to get any swervy action going if you're not a hundred percent alert that, that can catch you off guard pretty bad All right, so this isn't a stop, which is annoying that people do this. They just need to kind of flow through. It's good to always pay attention because you never know if someone to the left is gonna stop because they're just, they don't care or they're oblivious. All right, we need to get over one more lane. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. Now this is a one way. I'm gonna kind of let it figure its stuff out because we're not really behind anybody. Wow, there we go, okay. Not too bad. trying to think back if I had to take over it all I think so far you know knock on wrapped carbon fiber we are doing well so but this is gonna be the kind of kicker up here uh, and not not the people at the van of course that makes me a little nervous too because we're kind of close to them we need to go around good job but this stop sign coming up after this you can see how it's sloping and in the past the car has thought that this is a lane on the left side it's not it needs to get over because this all comes into like a one lane scenario which is really strange so we definitely need to follow this guy all right we're seeing it on here oh but the don't freak out on me do this right please okay cool cool we seem to be doing it right hey there we go i was genuinely worried about that spot but you need to go why are you just pausing here Come on, go! My goodness, that is so aggravating. It's just like wanting to sit there in the middle of the intersection. <laughs> Report. All right, come to a stop, check it's clear, and go. Better. At least there was consistent acceleration there and it wasn't just, let's stop right in the middle of this. Okay. So this is a through street, so it makes sense to be a little bit more cautious, but now we're halfway in it, so we just need to commit. When you're already like in the middle of the street, it, it makes no sense to just kind of stop and wait and see if maybe a car's gonna come up and hit you. <laughs> All right, and we are pulling up to our spot. This is basically it. So I'll let it complete this turn. 
and then this is where a customer would meet us. First, Cyber Eats success, if you ask me. So I will handle it from here as I figure out how to deposit this food. All right, so quick closing thoughts. Uh, that was fun. That was interesting to watch the vehicle do. Uh, one fail and one success, I think. I'm pretty sure that was success. If not, my, uh, my edit on the screen will make fun of me that I forgot where we had disengaged on that second trip. Um, but that was good, cool. So looking forward to doing more of those. I think it's time to go grab some actual customers and try to get some more good old customer reactions. But thanks again for all your viewership and please feedback and suggestions and ideas in the comments. I really, really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next video.